There are four main types of cold environments, and they are found in different areas of our planet, known as the global distribution. Glacial regions are found at high latitudes and high altitudes. The latitude is the place north or south of the equator, measured in degrees. Altitude is how physically high up something is in relation to sea level. The Antarctic ice sheet, which is also a polar region as it's around the poles, is above 60 degrees latitude. The Himalayan mountains are a glacial region as they have a high altitude. They are also the highest mountains in the world. Glacial regions aren't formed in the middle of continents at low latitude, as even if it's cold enough, there's not enough snow. Periglacial Peri areas are constantly below freezing, so have areas of permafrost, which is ground that is constantly frozen on or below the ground surface. They are found at high altitudes, around ice mass in mountain ranges, and at high latitude. Due to, to the effect of continentality, periglacial environments can form on the interior of land masses at low latitude and altitude. The seasonal variation is greater and permafrost goes further and deeper. In these areas, vegetation is sparse. Alpine environments occur at altitudes above the tree line on mountain ranges and may include glacial and periglacial environments within them. Above the tree line, no trees can grow as it's too cold. Areas of the Andes and the Alps have alpine conditions. Tundra areas may also be within alpine environments, which cover 25% of the Earth's surface. Polar regions occur around the poles. The Arctic is at the North Pole and at a high latitude. The average temperature in July is below 10 degrees. It can include glacial and periglacial areas. At the South Pole is the Antarctic, which is also at high latitude, just the opposite end of the Earth. In some places the ice is over 4,000 metres thick, so is actually at high altitude too. Most of the Antarctic polar region is on the landmass of Antarctica. The areas that the polar regions take up with ice reduces in the summer when ice melts, and the areas of ice increases in the winter when it refreezes.